Hey y'all, thanks for dropping by Design by Kathy. Today we're gonna do a really cool project and I'm gonna show you what we what our finished uh, results are right here. Um, these are coasters. I've got a set of four. This is going to be acrylic paint and uh, resin. And this beautiful cutting board. This is something you can do for yourself for a housewarming gift, a wedding gift. Uh, it, it's just turned out really, really pretty and you can do this too. So let's get started and I'll show you what to do. Today for this video, we are going to be doing a, a, a home decor. We're gonna step out a, a little bit of what, what I've been doing and we're gonna uh, do a, a, something a little different. This is a bamboo, just a bamboo cutting board. You can see, got it from Walmart. And we've got these um, coasters here. Now, how many times have you needed a, a wedding gift or a housewarming gift, and you really wanted something just a little bit personalized, but didn't know exactly what to do? Of course, now we have a lot of means and ways, all the Cricut users and Silhouette users and whatnot, and now we've got the chalk tour and all these other fun things. Um, but this is gonna be something a little bit different, and clearly you wouldn't have to stop at the, the resin. Uh, you could continue to embellish and personalize it you know, even after the step of what we're gonna do today. Now I have these, I'm gonna use three colors. I have a, um, this is a brown, it is a burnt umber, and I've got some white, and then I found this pretty um, caramel color. I'm gonna mix the, this is how much paint, there's about four drops in each of these. Let's see if I can evenly divide it here between my three colors. And again, remember when you're working with resin and using acrylic paint in them, you are tinting the resin. you are not resining the paint. Now, this is my baby wipe. As you can see, I had a little drippage there of, of my resin, but if you will grab a baby wipe really quickly before anything sets up or dries, it, it will work just fine to take it off. Now I have taken this cutting board. As you can see, I have put tape, because this is the amount we're gonna cover, is this upper amount. We're gonna leave this useful as a cutting board. My backside, as you can see, I have taped off my edges, except for right there. That's not really good, is it? Let's see if we can, this is just like so. Add it, align it as close to the edge as you can there. And I'm going to show you exactly why I'm doing this. Okay, there we go. It's all prepared now. This is what happens if you don't babysit your resin project all day or you don't tape the bottom off. You see these little bumps, pimples, whatever, they're on here, I, I, you can maybe can tell. I've tried to sand them and just with a little piece of sandpaper because you can sand resin, but it's not fun, let me just tell you. If you've got a lot of patients that don't mind sanding, clearly you can do that. Otherwise, you have to sit here and check it every 30 minutes and rub it off around the edges. So we've just taped it up. Did the same thing here with my little coasters, taped all the way around the bottom side. Let me blend these, blend my resin and paint. And I don't want to hold it over my project because I'm clumsy. <laughs> I left the handle open here so the resin will be able to fall in and, and go around this edge 
But again, I've taped off around that on the back side as well. Because we don't want those nasty looking little pimples on the back. Now I'm going to do, the, uh, this is gonna be basically a dirty pour. I really wish I had done that in a smaller cup. But I started, so we'll continue on. Now I used two ounces each of uh, my resin. I've got the Enviro, Envirotex Light. Uh, my resin and the hardener, two ounces of each, equal portions. I stirred and stirred and I let it sit to let the bubbles pop. You wanna let it air out a little bit. You want all those bubbles out. I'm just gonna keep layering until we're at the end of it. Layer, layer. <laughs> I was gonna add a starfish to this and I'll show you at the end, but I had a great big starfish and I needed a much smaller one. And I see that I'm getting resin places again, but we're gonna wipe it off with the baby wipe. Maybe I hold it over here. <laughs> that would probably have been the smarter thing for me to do. The longest amount of doing a project like this is gonna be your prep time. And it's like painting anything else when you paint a room. You gotta tape around the doors, tape around the windows, and take off all the switch plates and whatnot. Well, same thing here. This is the longest part of this little process. I'm gonna wipe that little bit, that mess that I made there off. Okay, I'm gonna start with just pouring a, a little bit across here. And same thing, I'm gonna go with, start with these. Now I, you can see I have these elevated on uh, paper cups. because uh, you, want, you want your resin to flow off the edge. Now I'm gonna start with these little guys here. And I'm gonna start letting my resin flow. I'm gonna actually, <laughs> I'm gonna let it flow down onto this one simply because I would wanna Make sure I have enough, but I thought, you know, that's a good way to capture and reuse. And I'm going to, same thing with each one of these, just gonna manipulate my resin and paint all around the coaster. This is the other reason you want to have your backside taped, otherwise it would just look, well, we had to cover it up, clearly, but I really wanna be able to not have those little pimply things. All right, folks, I had to make up just a little bit more, uh, and quite honestly, I wasn't liking the, <sighs> The depth of the colors. I wanted, I wanted it to be a little more, a little more bold, a little more stand outish. So I've mixed up using the same three colors, and I'm just gonna come in back in, and I'm gonna add them this way. It's still basically gonna be a dirty pour, but just a little. We're gonna pour it on a little differently. I just didn't wasn't having enough contrast to suit me, and you know, at this point in the game, there's no no foul here. No, we haven't we haven't lost. You haven't, you haven't like, your project's not ruined, in other words. You still have plenty, at this point, of time, you know, while you, you do have to watch your time on 
working you know with resin especially the warmer your work area is and I think there we go this this I'm liking I think I'm gonna like this I wanted the brown and the the beigey whatever this color the caramel I wanted that to take a kind of a back seat to the whole situation here Okay, so I can already tell this is going to give me more of the look that I had in my mind. <laughs> Somewhat, anyway. Yes, I can definitely, definitely, because I wanted that brown to be more powerful than what it was doing when I when I did the dirty uh, pour. It's it's mixed up to too much. I just didn't like that. wasn't happy with it. So, what do we do when we're not happy with it? We fix it and get happy with it. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do now. It's gonna get run over that tape a little bit, which is just fine, no prop. And I'm sorry, I have it. Let me see if I can turn it. I'm trying to do this without getting resin in places they don't need to be. And there's a place over here. It's just not wanting to cooperate at all. We can help it right now. Because I want it to go around these edges, definitely. Okay, now another thing that I haven't mentioned is how long we will leave on the tape. You don't want to leave it, you know, your whole 24 hours. Uh, probably as warm as my room is, eh, I'd say maybe, possibly, uh, even in... Yeah, I'll check it in six. I'll check it in six hours. Because maybe able to take it off then. Uh, and, to, and to do that, I'm just going to kind of touch the... As long as it's not still running. You know, as long as it's not still dripping over your edges. You're probably good to go. Yeah, we've definitely got more going on with these little boogers now. Perfect. Much happier. Oh yeah, that's gonna that is gonna cure so beautiful. I want it to go over my little edges, make sure that they're all covered. Again, I want to remind you, wear protective gloves. Um, protective gloves, a good surface protection on your surface. And your floors, wherever you may be working. This is not necessarily a necessary thing, but I, I had so much brown there. I wanted to see if I could scooch it on around. Okay, and there we have it. I'm going to let this cure for a little while, and then we'll take the tape off and take another look.